Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 158. And it is muscle car time. With another Ford. This time it's the Mustang Boss 429. The Boss. Not Sasha Banks, though. No, nah, it's the Mustang Boss. So, another one make race. This time up to D class, so. 1 F class, 1 E class event. Now D class, and we're going to be doing four laps around Sebring Short, so off we go. Okay, here we go, my blue ass Mustang in the boss. I should have painted this pink to match Sasha Banks' hair because of the boss. Oh no, fuck it. Fuck it. That is a long ass first gear. And now around everybody I go. I see sparks of flying. Who's touching whom? There was a lot of sparks flying up ahead. Not sure from who. I don't even know who was making contact. Didn't look like anybody was close enough to make contact, but I, I saw them sparks go. Oh shit. Oh, we got Brown and Taylor rubbing on each other. Excuse me, sir. You were you went uh, a lot slower than I anticipated there. Ready to go, dummy. Anyways, welcome to Ford Racing 4. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. This thing's a very floaty feeling. It's kind of a strange feeling. This car. And sunset bend. Oh shit, don't want to bend the fucking sheet metal of my car on the tire wall. Let's not do that. Sneak around Taylor in turn one? The answer is yes. Very good. Well, I kind of want to dive on Williams here. Ooh. Almost committed to it. Kind of backed off at the last possible moment. Oh well. Don't hold me up, bro. Don't make me regret not diving on you. Around the outside? No, this is gonna force me off. Okay. And here's where their upgrades are going to uh, come into effect. My lack of upgrades. I don't even know what my PI disadvantage in this race is. I don't think it's significant, because I think D-Class goes up to, like, what, 350? And this was at 320-something? I could easily pause and just look, but nah. Why interrupt the gameplay? I'm going to just look in the results screen and forget about it, and therefore not even mention it. I think that's what happened in the last segment as well. Hi Davis, how you? Holy shit. Power slide. It's all the way around the turn. And there we go. And there we go for sure now. Okay. <laughs> he kind of fought back that first time, but there we go, clear him. Oh, way to steal my joke, Harry. Jeez. You have to cough up royalties now. Luckily for you, I've accepted payment in the form of bits now. Because of the whole Tichophilia thing, you know. Give me 50 trillion bits now. Okay. 
dokie. Nice. Smooth runs. Well, smooth as I can be with this car. Smooth with this car means power sliding around the turns, really. And there we don't go yet, because there's still one more lap. I thought I was on the final lap. I was about to just drop the controller. But no, we're not done yet. So, uh, pardon my ignorance. Someone's had some issues earlier in the race. He's falling way the fuck back. Not sure who, though. We'll find out on the results screen. Ooh. Power slide around the turns. to the line to finish the race. Fuck that cone. And there we go. Ended up winning by almost four seconds to Davis, and Moore was the one who was falling way the fuck back. Probably got some engine damage through contact, so I wouldn't be surprised, to be perfectly honest. Starting his best lap is three seconds off the pace. So, oh well. Also, uh, yeah, 321, and they're all 347, so very little disadvantage for me. Yet again, cool. So there's another one make race complete. Another four to one make race complete. Three in a row. But I can guarantee you we'll want two things. One, We'll be seeing a lot more uh, classic muscle cars in the coming segments. And two, the next segment will not be of a Ford. Anything. So, uh, there's your spoilers. So with that, stay tuned for more Forza and more America.